Good morning, CCW. Welcome to CCW at Home. We're so glad that you're choosing to be here with us this morning. Whether you're a regular at CCW or perhaps someone who's just checking out what we're doing online, we're really glad to have you with us. Our prayer today is that you experience God's presence as we meet together. You know, personally, I already miss our time together on a Sunday morning. Right now, as we record this, I'm looking around at a whole bunch of empty seats in our auditorium here where I'd normally be happy to see a whole lot of full seats with you guys here. I also know, though, that God has met with his people as they gather together in many various ways over ages of time. And in this particular age, we're meeting together via technology. And our God is big enough and good enough that as we meet together with technology, he will meet with us in really special ways. James 4 verse 8 says, Come near to God and he will come near to you. And I don't know if you remember in February uh, when we heard about being devoted to God, fully devoted more of the time. And I actually spoke about the idea of seeking God's presence and us choosing to be present as we meet together. I invite you today, as we do church in a very different way, to seek God's presence still. And you might be sitting back on your couch at the moment, maybe in your PJs. Uh, I invite you not just to sit back. Stand up and sing as we worship together. Pray with us. Choose to be present, even though you're in your own home. Work through any awkwardness or uncomfortable feeling that you might have as you are either on your own or perhaps with your family and standing and worshipping together, praying, uh, doing communion together. All of that's a little bit foreign, but let's work through that and have that beautiful hope of, of meeting with God. Let's pray together. Father God, we are so thankful for who you are. And we want to give you praise today. We praise you because we are your children and you love us and you give us grace and mercy and we're so thankful. And God, today as we meet together in this really different way, we pray that as we choose to come near to you, God, you will come near to us. May you make yourself known to each person who is engaging with church this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. So now, church, let's stand together. Let's sing and lift his name high. Streams of abundance flow, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place, though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out. Closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your name when the sun shines. Blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering. Though there's pain in the offering, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, 
still I will say, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name, yes, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name be your glorious name. You give and take away. You give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. You give and take Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Yes, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about this very thing that we're going through at the minute, uh, this coronavirus um, fun and games that we have. We're all, all, all basically locked up. And they, um, they used uh, Psalm 23 as an example of how good our God is. Um, we're all around as dark. It might um, seem really bad, but we've got to remember that Jesus and God are, are in control. And also um, 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 and 4. Blessed be the God of the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us all in our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any, in any affliction. It's not all of it, but um, you get the gist. So I um, hope you're enjoying uh, what we're presenting for you today as we uh, move into this next song. Pour out our praise to you only. It's 
Your 